Hello people and welcome to another chain tutorial. In this video I am showing you how to make an inverted round chain. Minimum aspect ratio for this chain is 3.5 and a general aspect ratio is 4 to 4.2 and what I have here is 1.5 millimeter wire and this jump rings inner diameter is 6 millimeters so my aspect ratio is 4. To start this chain what you need is chain like this 2 1 2 1 2 start and what we do after this is we join all these together. What you want here is to have all these single jump rings in same direction. Like this. Now, after this, you can pick up your chain and pull one of the double jump rings up like this. The other two, three will fall down. And if you watch your chain start from the top, you should have something like this. Now, we just start to add jump rings on this chain. This is very very simple chain to make. Like this. Then add another. And one more. And if you now pull up your those three jump rings you just added, you uh, again get this shape. And this is what you will have on the side. Now, again, same thing. One jump ring over there, locking two old jump rings. Add another to lock the third jump ring. And one more to complete this this row or layer or whatever we should call this. Now if I pull again these new three jump rings up, we have again the same shape. 
and the side wheel is here. I will again speed up this video and wave this chain and uh, after that we can look up it a little bit closer Okay, <coughs> here is my short inverted round chain. This is got quite big chain for to be a bracelet and I think most people don't don't want this big chain as their necklace either. But for this video I chose to use 1.5 millimeter meter wire so so that it shows better on the cam camera. But this is quite nice chain if you make it from a little bit smaller wire something like 0 0.8 millimeters and that's that's the end what the ends look like they are the same on both sides but yeah that's how you make an inverted round chain. Thanks for watching.